first thing you want to check is for proper tension in the handle. Grab the handle, release, and then latch. Make sure that it locks into position. If you don't have proper tension in the parking handle, check for frayed or broken cables in the splitter box located above the floorboard. First, start by removing the rubber floor mat, making sure not to rip any of the rubber pegs. Next, remove the inspection cover by removing the three Phillips head screws. Next, remove one of the two screws that hold the cover on the splitter box. Rotate the cover out of the way. This is how a proper mechanism should operate. If you see any broken or frayed cables, replace as necessary. If you are still experiencing problems with your vehicle not locking in the upright position, you might want to check the adjustment on the linkage for the rocker itself. The access cover for the rocker mechanism is located on the right underside of the bike. Simply remove these two 10 mm bolts. After you remove the access cover, you will find the linkage to set the preload tension for the parking latch. By rotating the 10 mm nut clockwise, you put more tension on the preload spring. After you have limited all free play, then you want to take the 8 mm locking nut and bring it up to the 10 mm locking nut. Tighten the two together, add blue Loctite. After you have checked for any broken or frayed cables and have ensured the proper tension on the preload spring on the linkage, you want to check inside the rocker mechanism itself. Make sure the tooth buckle does not have any broken or missing teeth. This is 